So it's been a bit of a time since we last did a video, but it's a new year here in London and we have moved into this very nice building here in West Hampstead. And we have the upper ground floor flat, which you can see sort of in the frame there, the bay window. And today is an interesting day because both Juliet and I are on holiday. It's a weekday, so it's pretty empty and it's snowing. So we're now going to walk up to Hampstead Heath which is about three kilometers away and have a look around there in the snow. So we'll get back to you when there's some more snowy things to be seen. So we're about a kilometer up the road from our house. We're now in Hampstead Cemetery. Very nice walk up Hampstead High Street. And as with everything in the snow, the cemetery looks very, very pretty. Very nice. It's nice walking around here when it's not snowy. We come here quite often just to wander around. But we're now going to head another kilometre up the road to Golders Hill Park and we'll get back to you when we get there. So we're now here at Golders Hill Park, which is part of Hampstead Heath. Um, now this park is pretty close to where we live, about two kilometres away now. And uh, Juliet and I come up here quite a lot because it's very pleasant. And you can see it looks really pretty in the snow and there's nobody around, which is excellent. We're just going to go down this long path here and we get to a little zoo and we'll get back to you when we get there. So here we are now in Golders Hill Park and this is very, very pretty today. This, like I said, normally this is churned up with mud and there's tons of people around, but it's very nice today. Now I'm having to be very careful though because the path below me is very, very slippy. But it's a very nice part to come to, sort of over in the distance where there's a bit of a sculpture. There's a nice little uh, nature garden. And then this sort of uh, structure here comprises a little zoo, free to come and visit. Um, the only problem is most of the animals in there like slightly warmer temperatures. Uh, so there's some lemurs and some wallabies and things like that. So they're not really out at the moment. But if we go over here, there's some deers in this little area and uh, these deers are out. Not very easy to see, you'll have to peer into the distance. But they're over at the back by the tree which is standing up. So yeah, nice to see. But yeah, really nice place. We're going to head over to the little cafe in the distance you might be able to see and get some drinks. But otherwise, really nice. Although I do have a very cold Juliet standing there looking grumpy because it's so icy. So here we are now in the wallaby and donkey enclosure and that's a little bit wrong because there are some actually around which you may be able to see just down there in the snow looking very very grumpy. So we're now just coming off the park itself and we're going to go into this little nature area. Very pretty. And this is where normally you can find an awful lot of squirrels. Now the squirrels may be um, hibernating because it is chilly. Can we see any squirrels, Juliet? No, no squirrels. But we came here just yesterday and there's squirrels all over the place. A few little birds wandering around. But it doesn't look like, oh, there we go. There's a squirrel. Squirrel on a log in the snow. Should have been a great photo opportunity, but I had a GoPro and not a camera. And there we go, it's gone. I know, I found him, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. No, he's on the other side of a tree, he's tricksing me. And here we are in a very nice walled garden just up from the nature area. And we have a fountain with a child frolicking with some fish. We're now heading up this hill to another little walled garden area and then over the top of it to Hampstead Heath itself. We've skipped the uh, second little walled garden area because Juliet thought it might be a good idea to come through this bit of the heath we've not been to before, which is the Hampstead Heath extension. 
which is just more of the uh, same sort of landscape as the heath, just trees and hills. Um, but yeah, really good, really good call. We're, it's a bit more of a direct route up to Kenwood House as well, which is where we're going to be going. Um, but just generally for those who don't know about Hampstead Heath, um, it's a really nice part of London, just, just sort of, um, I don't know, 20 minutes north from central London. And um, you get these wonderful sort of landscapes, which aren't like anything else in London because it's still a bit hilly. Um, and you can sort of still get a little bit lost here. But yeah, really nice. And um, looks like we just found a bit of a pond. But we've uh, got our coffees. So we're ready to head deeper into this lovely place. So this is Hampstead Heath itself, the main bit. And this is sort of the more open areas towards the uh, north of it. And uh, it's just started to snow again a little bit. We're just having a nice walk around. We come up here quite often, um, but never in the snow before. And um, Kenwood House is just in the distance, so we'll pick this up when we get over there. So we're now in the grounds of Kenwood House. Got some people sledging over in the distance. We've got the uh, lake down at the bottom of the garden here with a bridge you might be able to see in the distance, in white, which is actually completely fake and is a folly, I believe it's called. It's just a piece of wood painted to look like a bridge. But if we spin round, We've got Kenwood House itself up there. Really nice, you can go in and have a look around. We are now here at Kenwood House. As you can see there, we've got some people sledging. Kenwood House is quite famous. You'll see it in a few films. Most notably for me, Notting Hill. And it's rather pleasant. We've got a lot of families here today. Sledging as you can see. And if I spin round, there's a lovely pond down here. Now it's continuing to snow. Me and George are very cold. So we're going to be heading back now. So we're now here at the top of Hampstead Heath. At the hill where you can look out over all of London. Now we're expecting some really good views, but the snow is coming in. And all it is now is a little bit grey. But you can see St Paul's and the Shard and all sorts of things down there. That's very nice. Coming here on a sunny day, it's absolutely wonderful, but a lot busy. And if I spin around, you can see all of the heath around us. We're now going to be going down this path to the ponds where you can uh, have a swim, but not when it's cold. And then we're going to Hampstead Heath town and then back over to uh, West Hampstead where we live. So here we are on another very slippy path and we're at the Hampstead Teeth Pond. And uh, in the summer, when it's a little bit warmer, you can come over to this pond in particular and swim in it if you want to be really cold. Next stop for us is the town just over there. And here we are on the last stop on our walk today. This is Hampstead Heath Town. Very nice. Or should I say Hampstead Town, not Hampstead Heath Town. But yeah, really pretty. Lots of nice little shops to come and uh, look at. Not too many uh, big shops, lots of independents. Lots of nice places to eat. But this is our last stop on today's walk. And we're going to have to be going back home now because it is very, very cold. But um, we might be doing something later on this week if it keeps on snowing, go see some other nice areas of London. So we'll get back to you if we do that.